Hi, this is Gizmo First, and the scoreboard for Season 4 is well underway, and while there are a load of people who are touting their level 50, 60, 70 plus accounts already, there are those of us who exist outside of cyberspace but still like to venture into Appalachia on occasion, voicing concern that they might not be able to make the dailies and the weeklies. Well, that's where I come in. Come with me if you want to live. You see, I've done every season up until now at quite a leisurely pace and never spent an atom on a square. Even a bout of COVID and a stint in hospital over the new year couldn't slow me down. So what's the secret then? Easy, do things quicker. And there's no challenge, except for the levelling up challenge, which I addressed in the quick tips video, click above for more on that, that comes up more than the complete an event challenge. This on the surface seems quite straightforward, but in the weeklies at the same time, you might have to complete 10 or 15 events and it becomes quite time consuming. Some events can take what seems like forever while others only a couple of minutes so here is a list of my recommended events if you're looking to do any amount of events to gain xp for the scoreboard and still have time for the essentials of life number one leader of the pack this mission is good to link a few daily challenges not the shortest event but it often glitches into two events which usually drops at least three legendaries which means that not only will you accomplish your daily mission and two missions for the weeklies but you will also have three legendary kills for the weekly scoreboard and also your daily legendary kill if it's on that list absolutely Badasses. Once upon finishing the event, usually it triggers a wolf horde event where you must dispatch another pack leader, and upon doing so, it will scratch off another event from your weekly or daily list if you have more than one to complete. Number two, manhunt. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. Manhunt is one of the fastest missions to complete the dailies. Dispatch the super mutant standing outside and hunt down Malone. Simple. Even if you're not a high level player, you should be able to do this in 3 minutes flat if you are a higher level inside of a minute. So look out for this one. Killing super mutants is also great for picking up weapons that are worth selling at a vendor if you have a daily or weekly cap amount to collect for. So keep that in mind. Number 3. Distant Thunder This event is presented as much more complicated than it really is. Go here, connect something, scan something, blah blah blah. In reality, it's easier just to do the optional objective, which is killing the swarm of Scorch in the immediate area. It's also a good load of XP and pretty fun with the right weapon. I'd like to keep this handy for close encounters. Again, three minutes for a lower level, inside a minute for a higher. Easy. Number four, Fertile Soil. This is especially good if nothing on this list is active and it's usually enough just to fast travel to the agricultural center in Flatwoods to trigger it, even if it's not showing as active on the map. Kill the three robots, enter the building, run down to the terminal, change the parameters and boom, two to three minutes max, maybe four for a lower level. Number 5. Defender Workshop You're playing Russian Roulette with this one. Sometimes if you can't get anything to trigger but someone has claimed a workshop on the map, the Defender Workshop mission might come up. It can be potentially quick but also can have up to 4 waves of enemies, some being hard to find, so be prepared that while these could be quick, they're not always. Number 6. The Scorch Beast Queen This usually gets completed very quickly and she is always legendary and spawns other legendary enemies. So sure, if someone is dropping a nuke and you still need to complete an event, drop in. And here is a short list of events to stay away from, not because they are bad and some are serious fun, so by all means do them for the fun factor if you have the time, but they can take longer to do. I ain't got time to breathe. On that list I would include Feed the People, Back on the Beat, Dogwood Die Off, Uranium Fever, though it's one of my favourites and is also good for legendary dailies and weeklies, so weigh up the pros and cons for that one. Radiation Rumble, though also good for legendaries and XP farming, but everybody goes for it and legendaries die quickly. Dropped Connection, the satellites can pop in weird places and the compass markers go a bit haywire, especially at Watoga. There are obviously other events that can be done pretty quick, but these are the crux of them. This is Gizmo First, please click the like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.